Hi, I'm Hetal reporting live from the 2016 HRDF conference and together with me, very honoured to have Dr. Amiruddin Abdul Sata from uh, KPJ Healthcare, Sandiran Burhat, and where he uh, serves as the Managing Director. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Dato, so a couple of questions for you. We'll probably take five minutes for this. Uh, you talk a little bit about how HR needs to reinvent themselves. Uh, how do you think KPJ has reinvented themselves in the HR space? So what have you specifically done differently with HR? I think we have first changed the name of our HR department to Talent Management Department. Right. Uh, to reflect the expectation of the organization and uh, other stakeholders that we need to give more focus on the talent of mm -hmm. our, our mm -hmm. people. Right. Uh, because at the end of the day, it's their performance that uh, ensure successful uh, outcome to the organization. Yeah. Whether we got bigger profit, bigger revenue, rely a lot on the performance of individual staff. Right. So you think changing the name is definitely the biggest step? Uh, yeah. I think a lot of people say language is very important anyway, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, coupled with that, I think we have also embarked on our program where we have uh, automated most of the HR processes right. like applying for leave, uh, mm. making claims, mm -hmm. uh, medical leave, mm. uh, uh, checking out their leave balance, right. salaries and things like that. Right. All can be done through the internet. Yes, I know. So, I saw a lot of ease. Yeah. So you've shifted into a very digital platform already. So apart from the name, I think a lot of tra uh, a lot of processes has become uh, a lot more efficient using technology. Yeah. Um, so we've got another question for you as well. Um, one of the more important things that you were talking about is that um, KPJ probably still has a way to go with regards to raising service standards. What do you think has been one of the most difficult things with regards to, despite all efforts, raise service standards to the highest level? I think that the problem is our business deal with human and it people. It does. So the doctors and the nurses, there's nothing that we can do without really having direct relationship or interface between our people and patients in the in the hospital. Mm. So we have to stress a lot on customer service, right. service with smile, service with uh, curtsy and things yeah. like that. Yeah. So. Our challenge is how to ensure that this takes place at all places, at all time, yeah. through our, all our people. Yeah. So uh, it has to be ongoing, continuous. Yeah. Yeah. So the only way to stress on this is to, to make sure that their performance appraisal will be affected if they don't deliver the service with the right attitude right. and the right uh, smile. Yeah, and what so I, was, I was so impressed by the fact that you said that every single employee in KPJ now has service tied to their appraisal. Yes, yeah. true. So it's not just the customer service people. Yeah, it's, just, it's just, just not about them giving the right injection or the right medicine to staff, right. uh, to, to patients. Yeah. A patient may recover well, but at the end of the day, it's the patient experience, patient journey while they are in the hospital. Truly. They must have a good experience that they want to come back. Truly. Oh. Truly. So, obviously, in the healthcare industry, it's a high risk, high emotionality, high workload. Everything is really, really high. And uh, more often than not, research says that probably you have the most stressed out workers in place. True. You've talked about winning the hearts, the souls, the minds of your people. Uh, please tell us the initiative that you've used to truly win the hearts of your employees that has worked the best for them. I think it's quite easy for KPJ because uh, the nature of our business, the nature of, nature of most of our employees' work is to serve people. Yeah. So they can actually see people come with crutches, on wheelchairs, going out, walking, healthy. So that, I or think, maybe never walking out again as well. Oh, uh, well, leave that aside. Leave that aside, okay. So, <laughs> so that, that yeah. I think, enough encouragement, enough motivation for, for most of uh, healthcare workers mm -hmm. to really appreciate their job and do their work and duties with uh, wholeheartedness yeah. and, and, and not just for money. I think yeah. at the end of the day, they got the real satisfaction of working in the hospital because of the results yeah. the, and, and the outcome they, they, they bring to the patients. Yeah, I think, I think that's definitely it. Uh, I don't think anybody will walk into the healthcare industry if they didn't feel passionate about it. Mm. What are you doing specifically to win their hearts, their minds, their souls, especially when they're burnt out probably every other day? Uh, of course, uh, we have to cheer them up and we have a lot of programs, activities that, that, that uh, make sure they, they relieve their stress well. So we have 
like any other organization we have sports we have uh, uh, outings yes. that 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 allow them to relieve themselves and right. uh, forget about the stress at yes. work I saw a whole list of things that you've been doing yeah. as well so uh, great work looking after the well-being of your employees as well uh, thank you so much for thank being you. with us once again Tato uh, Amiruddin uh, with us at HRDF conference